redeemed the world. And so we're very grateful to the Sisters of Life and the Frasati Foundation that they have willingly taken up these meditations beneath the cross and offered them to you for your own meditation. And I, I hope and pray that these familiar characters from the Gospels who encountered Christ touch your hearts as the Lord himself touched theirs in very beautiful and meaningful ways. And now, as he is offering his sacrifice of love upon the cross, they come to him to console his heart. To console his heart. I think so many times you and I come to the Lord Jesus with our needs. We come with hearts heavy, with concerns for not only ourselves, but those whom we care about, those whom we love, even the world and the church. We come to him with heavy hearts. But sometimes you and I forget that even his heart is heavy. And to be able to console him, to come to him in prayer, in meditation, in our acts of charity, with the specific purpose to console the heart of Jesus. Each of these people whom you will meet throughout these meditations come to the foot of the cross to console the heart of Jesus. Let us do the same. I know that a memory from my childhood, you know, when we would go to Mass on Sunday morning, the, if we were good during Mass, we were rewarded by my father giving us a quarter so that we could light a candle. That was huge. To be able to light that candle after Mass was really something that we looked forward to, and it helped us to behave because we knew that was the reward. In my parish church growing up, off to the left in the corner, there was a life-size crucifixion, a large cross with the body of our Lord. And I was always gravitating towards that cross at the end of Mass. And I would go over with my quarter in hand and I would light my candle and then I would kneel at the foot of his cross. And right beneath our Lord's feet was the prayer before the crucifix. And I would say that prayer very slowly, very deliberately. And then, and then when I was finished, I would just look up slowly and look into his face. The way the statue of our crucified Lord was made, his eyes were slightly still open. I would look at him and he would look at me. And in those very formative young years in my life, as I look back upon those Sunday mornings, I know that the seed of my vocation to the priesthood was sown in those moments. I would look at him and he would look at me. No words, just the look. And I know at times that I must have been there for quite a while because I would suddenly feel the tap on my shoulder that it was time to go until the next Sunday. Those moments I treasure, those moments of prayer, contemplation in a young heart, it was consoling the heart of Jesus in the best way I knew how. But he was forming mine 
He was forming my heart to be one with his. And I am forever grateful for the grace. As we enter into these meditations and you come to the foot of the cross with familiar figures from the gospel, please do so with the intention to console the heart of our divine Lord. And know that the grace you will receive in return far outweighs whatever we can give. God bless you.